everybody, we're diving into a brand new Cabral concept. I want to share with you today a missing nutrient in your anti-aging and longevity protocol that you may just want to add after you hear about all of its benefits by the end of today's show. So it is called PQQ. If you've heard about it before, amazing bonus tips for that. But if you don't really know what it's all about, I want to share with you that here today. So if you've been using things like CoQ10 or ubiquinone or ubiquinol, or you've heard about things like NAD, nicotinamide riboside, nicotinamide mononucleotide, but you haven't heard about PQQ, that's why I want to share it with you. And the reason is that this is a nutrient that's starting to explode. People are starting to talk more about it, and I want you to have the basis for that. It's a product that we've been using in our product practice now for about a decade, and it pairs perfectly with a lot of anti-aging based protocols. So what is PQQ? Well, the reason why it's always referred to as PQQ is because of its name. The, the, the name of PQQ is pyroloquinoline quinone. So we won't be talking about that too much here today. We'll refer to it as PQQ. But what it is, is it's actually a mitochondrial biogenesis creator. That means it helps to create more mitochondria in your cells. Now, why is this important? Well, a lot of nutrients like CoQ10 can make the mitochondria work better, right? And B vitamin B3, niacin, which is ultimately can become nicotinamide riboside or nicotinamide mononucleotide, which can become NAD. All of that's amazing, right? But they work with your current mitochondria. Well, there's a nutrient that can actually create more mitochondria. That's what I want to share with you here today. I'll talk about how much in just a moment. But one of the reasons why this is also a hot topic is that oftentimes you can get a lot of great nutrients from food alone. You really can. But PQQ, even though it's all natural, is in short demand in nature. That means that you've got like three main places that you can really get it. The first is breast milk. So when you're a baby, and you're nursing from your mom, you're actually getting PQQ to actually create more of those mitochondria. And it's interesting because the mitochondria you have at birth was given to you or were given to you from your mom. That is an interesting thing that your mom gives you your mitochondria. The best science we have right now, your mitochondria come from your mom. So your energy or lack thereof, we can thank our mom. All kidding aside, but it's true. The other way besides that is the soil. So bacteria, the bacteria in the soil. Now, why is this important? Because think about it. If you were to grow your own veggies or your own fruit, well, mainly veggies, right? Coming from the ground and they had dirt on them and you didn't wash off all that dirt, you'd actually be getting a little bit more B12 in your diet and you'd be getting PQQ. But since we are worried about bacteria, we are worried about parasites from the soil and most of us are not using organic-based soil or getting organic-based food, we don't even know, we of course want all of our produce washed. Well, it washes off the, the PQQ that you might ordinarily get. The last place is actually a fermented soy product called natto. Now, I found this to be incredibly interesting in the research, and the reason is, is that we know that a lot of Okinawan and some Asian-based cultures actually have pretty great longevity. And they also have good energy. Like we, we've, I've seen a lot of the studies, I've seen a lot of the documentaries, and it, it looks solid. Now I do know that Okinawa is actually falling out of the blue zones. And, but why? Because they've adopted a more Western-based lifestyle. So it's not like the older ways weren't actually effective. They were, but when new ways are adopted, of course, we get the same sicknesses over and over and over. And we've seen that, right? A lot of people like to say, the blue zones aren't real, it's all made up. Okay. When they've instituted blue zone based principles, fundamentals, the seven and nine that are always talked about by Dan, is that they actually saw a dis-ease decrease in those cities and overall longevity markers improve. Amazing, right? Well, the same thing happens in reverse. When you take in blue zone based area, and I actually visited one last spring, which was amazing down in Costa Rica, Nicoya Peninsula. But over an Okinawa, hour, you see it diminish. And that's because there's Kentucky Fried Chickens and McDonald's and all the fast food is infiltrating the culture. And so it works both ways. All right. I just wanted to share that with you here. But they also include oftentimes some fermented soy. So if you're not getting those, which again, let's face it, most of us aren't. I'm not, right? So how am I going to get PQQ? It's, it's a choice that you can take if you want. It's a safe supplement to add a little bit to your supplement regimen. 
Now, I'll let you know like at the end how much I use and, and if I think it might be worthwhile for you. Here's what it does though. These are the key benefits to at least think about. This is important, and I'm going to start with this, you know, first, is that it improves mitochondrial biogenesis. So why does that matter? Well, it's clinically proven to increase the number of mitochondria you have by 20 to 30 percent. That's significant. Let's say that you ordinarily had, I don't know, let's say 500 mitochondria in a specific cell. You're going now up to what, 600 to 650? You're getting 20 to 30 percent more mitochondria that you can then fire up with your own natural B vitamins, other nutrients that you take in, CoQ10, et cetera. I, I think that that's important. Why does that matter? It improves sleep. It improves recovery. It improves brain power and memory, so cognitive ability. And it overall boosts your mood. So when your mitochondria are functioning at a higher level, it's been shown that you age more slowly, you have less inflammation, you recover faster. Your, ba your body basically just has more energy, right? If the mitochondria are the power plants of the cell, then it makes sense the more you have and the better function they are, well, the more energy you'll have as well. So really important. All right, what else? Energy production I talked about. I won't go through too deep of the science, but uh, PGC1-alpha is the main gene involved in this mitochondrial-based growth. PQQ, uh, activates that. So really important, right? It improves mitochondrial respiration. It, the mitochondria's ability to actually produce energy, take nutrients, oxygen, glucose, whatever it needs in, and push energy out in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate made from adenosine diphosphate, right? As it starts to increase energy, we push it out. And of course, we need to be able to recycle it, bring that energy back in. Uh, we've talked about this before, but NGF, nerve growth factor. This is important for both the brain and body. Improves overall cognitive ability, cognitive resilience, be able to deal with stress. We talked about that on Monday, right? Anti-aging and longevity. There's a huge tie right now. We talk about this in high performance health of your mitochondria and mitochondrial strength and anti-aging. If you think about it, I see people sometimes go rapidly downhill post-surgery or post hip replacement or whatever it is, because they never fully recover from the anesthesia, the surgery, the inflammation. They didn't get back to the word they were baseline before that, and they didn't exercise, they didn't do the right things before surgery to create a faster rehabilitation-based space. So that's really important. Again, PQQ can help with that. Cardiovascular, not too much more important than your heart, right? Number one cause of, of all mortality is cardiovascular disease. This along with that CoQ10 can be game changers. And then sleep. We, we all know that we need to improve our sleep. We know that, right? But it's difficult because sometimes you can't turn your mind off at night. Sometimes it's like you're not tired enough right away to fall asleep. Sometimes, you know, you're good falling asleep, but you wake up at 2, 3, 3.30 a.m. All of these things can be improved with stress resilience and mitochondrial boosting. And that's exactly what PQQ does. So I don't want to go on and on about it. Let me tell you how to use it. So in our practice, we use 10 to 20 milligrams per day. Clinical research shows anywhere between 10 and 40 milligrams per day is the optimal dose. You know, just like when you compare it to something else like a creatine. What's the optimal dose of creatine? About two and a half, three grams to up to 10 grams. Most people take about five grams per day, right? For PQQ, Start at 10 milligrams, and you can always work your way up to 20. Typically, most people do not need 30 to 40 milligrams. I never use 30 to 40 milligrams in my practice. I would say never, never, ever, right? But if someone has like, you know, massive mitochondrial issues, might I bump them up to 40 for a period of 12 weeks or so? Sure, but the product can get expensive as well. So that's straightforward. If you were to pair it with your CoQ10 or Ubiquinol, you'd want to use about 100 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10 or Ubiquinol. That's a higher milligram product versus a lower milligram product with PQQ. So not everything should be at the same dosage, of course, right? The minimum time using this product in order to be able to see results is four to six weeks. That's minimum time. Most of these products, whenever you want to rebuild that mitochondria, look 12 to 16 weeks. I know it's a long period of time, but as a lot of these cells are turning over, then you get get the new mitochondria as well. So 12 weeks would be the, the best thing to be able to use. The product that I personally use and I use in my practice is called Cell Boost. 
Uh, it's formulated by Ecolife, myself included. And the reason is, is that it already includes the CoQ10. It includes PQQ. It includes astragalus. It includes a lot of the other anti-aging and mitochondrial products. The re whole reason it's called Cell Boost is it gives your mitochondria a boost. It's a mitochondrial-based product. I've been using it now for years. So have our, our, many of our private clients. And of course, the nice thing is about Ecolife products is they're guaranteed to work. If they don't work for you, then you just return it. And, and that's the nice thing about it. I think you, that should go for all brands. So no matter what brand you choose, choose a product that just has a money back guarantee so that you can use it, you can test it out and see if it works for you. So again, it's clinically proven. I've seen it work in my own practice as well, which I think is important that it works in the real world. And if you're going to look for a product, look for 10 to 20 milligrams. And then of course, you can add your nicotinamide riboside, your CoQ10, and transversoretrol and astragalus. Like all of those work for your mitochondria. They're all great. This might be one though that you add in, and this could be really the thing that begins to move the needle for you in terms of energy in both brain and body. Hopefully this was helpful. I can't link up Cell Boost here, but you can always find it at stephencabral.com shop that just takes you over to Equalife. And of course, if you don't want to shop at Equalife, no problem at all. Just look for a good functional medicine based brand recommended by your integrative health practitioner or naturopathic doctor. Take care, buddy. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll talk with you tomorrow on another Cabral concept. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.